What's going on, people? Versus Z here, coming at you with a Let's Talk About Gundam episode 2. I don't know if I want to call it episode 2, but second video for Let's Talk About Gundam. Here, I want to be talking about. Actually, it's going to be a two part video, really, because uh, one, I'm going to be talking about my second take on the Perfect Grade Double O Gundam. Riser, I'm sorry, Perfect Grade Double O Riser. And in the, uh, the second part, which I'll, I'll, I'll do later on, I'm not going to double upload, um, I'm going to be talking about the Master Grade GNX, which is Bandai's recently announced new Master Grade for the Double O series. Um, some debate there, but I think a lot of us are starting to grow into just that idea. So for this one, um, we're we'll talking about Perfect Grade Double O Gun, Perfect Grade Double O Riser, kind of recapping on my initial take on it and then going over how I feel about it now. So, you know, my, you guys know my first take on it. I didn't like how it looked on the outside. Um, you know, like a lot of people where you complain about the price. And I got into this state of thought about, you know, why would Bandai price it at such a high price? And then I totally forgot that for us, here in the states or anywhere outside of Japan, we have to pay for shipping, and I forget that the shipping is—we're not paying for you know the shipping itself. We're paying for the convenience, not just the shipping. Well, I mean, they're both the same thing, but um, the convenience is what you're paying for. You're paying for that kit to get to you when you want it and you want it now. Um, that's the only reason why it's costing a lot for us. Think about it. Think about it this way: it costs in Japan two hundred and seventy dollars, um, which is twenty-seven thousand yen, something like that. Um, but yes, more or less around there. And personally, if it was if it were sold in America for two seventy, the Double O Riser kit, perfect grade Double O Riser kit. I mean, you get you know O Riser with the beefed up parts and everything, and you get. Double O Gundam, which is nice. You get the pre-assembled GM drives, which I'm pretty sure would cost a lot, and you're paying for the convenience of them being complete too. Um, you're paying for the amount of parts trees, which I think could have been done a little better. But looking at those parts trees from Robert 184's uh, videos, I'm kind of seeing a link here, and I'll I'll bring that up towards the end a little bit. Um, I I didn't like the exterior look and I try to figure out why that was because like honestly it doesn't look all that bad um, the sculpting is a little off in my opinion but just the idea where he tried to mix in sharp detail and at the same time retain its anime look you know I, I'd recognize that but um, I think what I didn't like about it the most and I actually missed it earlier and I figured it out. It was the black inner frame. Like, I don't know if it's black or if it's just super dark gray, but I would definitely have preferred just the normal Gundam gray for the inner frame pieces. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why they decided to go with that and follow, follow the, uh, the look of the 160 scale no grade Exia. Um, black inner frame parts, you know, the idea is good, but it, to execute, I think it would only look great on a black Gundam, or a Gundam that was consisted mostly of black. But um, you have, you know, you have white, you know, red, white, blue, yellow, with black interfering pieces. I, I don't know. It never appealed to me. It never did. I tried to get used to it. It just never did. And um, I, I guess that's one of the big reasons why I didn't like the exterior, aside from the, uh, the proportionate issue. But um, now it's like I'm looking at it, and there's all these pictures and all these scans and everything about um, you know the perfect double O riser and all that stuff. And you know it's it's grown on to me. It's really grown on to me. Um, I, I still don't like the proportions, but the kit itself has grown on to me. And I'm re I'm reminded of why Bandai decides to go for a two hundred seventy dollar price tag for this kit. The biggest and most important thing as to why you're paying that much is not the fact that it's a perfect grade and it's the most recent perfect grade. It's the fact that Bandai is implementing a 
a whole bunch of model kit advance, advancements into this one kit. You have the LED, you have the locking joint mechanism, you know, with the springs and everything. You have, you know, there's there's no traditional die cast parts uh, or screws on all over the body like perf like previous perfect grade releases. It's you know it's Bandai really trying to make a name for themselves in terms of their their model kit technology, and they're putting a lot of that work into this one perfect grade kit. And because of that, you know what, I'm, I'm acknowledging Bandai for doing that, and that's why I find 270 to be a reasonable reasonable price. So if like I don't know if the stores if there's an online store or something, or if HLJ decides to put you know, perfectly double riser ever on sale for like, I don't know, 200 and then shipping would cost you 70 Okay, that would make sense. I would do that. I would definitely do that. But that's not going to happen. Um, because one, I, I think, I think Bandai was going smart here in terms of business and just economical stuff. They could have done what they did with the high grade releases, where they released the perfect grade double O Gundam first, released a separate O riser with maybe a stand, and then went with the perfect grade double O riser set, which would then you know cost about two seventy. Uh, I would have gladly paid like you know half of that for each kit, or you know a little bit more than half for the double O, and then a little bit less than half for the O riser. Um, you know, that would make sense, but that doesn't mean I don't, that does not mean Bandai might try to do that anyway. Um, judging from the parts distribution on the parts trees, and I can't really explain it to you here. I'm gonna waste a lot of time doing that. But go watch our Robert 184's um, parts trees review. You will kind of see and make sense. It will make sense to you why there are so many individual parts trees rather than putting a whole bunch together. Because um, it looks though as if Bandai was planning to release a standalone kit for the double O and the O riser. It was just they decided to slap on every single thing they could into this one kit. And you can kind of see that in the different parts tree separations. So yeah, that's, that's just one thing. Um, but yeah, you know, overall, it, I'm growing a bigger fondness for this perfect grade kit. Um, I would really, really wait for a, a perfect grade double O Gundam standalone kit because that would be something I would be more interested in. I really don't care about this new O Riser. It looks beefy. I really like that. Uh, it looks beasty. I really like, you know, the missile pods and the extra weapons and all these gimmicks and the binders and stuff like that. But in the end, I'm probably just gonna end up playing with it like a little freaking kid. And that's not the point. I might break something. Um, but yeah. As for where I stand now, you know, I, like I said, it's grown a fun. I'm growing fondness for it. I don't regret canceling the pre-order at all. I really don't. But at this point, I still want it. Not for the exterior look, but for the amount of it, the, the amount of attention to detail and the gimmicks and you know, the inner frame and just. Just overall detail on the out on the inside rather than on, rather than on the outside. So, yeah. Before I go though, I kind of want to make a small announcement. And let me just show you because I'm I will spend a whole bunch of time talking about this. So yeah, I finally got it. Black Friday. I didn't buy it. Right? I did not buy it. It was surprisingly my mother, and she bought it while she went to Walmart. I wasn't with her. Well, I mean, I was with her at Walmart, but I wasn't with her at the time she was doing it. I was downstairs getting the, nece the necessary stuff for the house, like the toilet paper and all this other stuff. And she's up there buying a new, you know, two-way phone for the house because our the one we were using before it was like it was just messing up. And well, I get that. So, um, you know, for the, to cut it just short, you know, I'm excited about it. My mom's downstairs watching The Dark Knight right now because this one actually came. Uh, it's a special. I got Batman Arkham Asylum. Wow. Um, Unch I wish it was Uncharted. Infamous, which is, I really don't care for it. And a Blu ray of Forever the Dark Knight. And she's downstairs watching it now. I never got to play the games yet. So um, my PSN ID is Versus370. 
Z. So V E R S U S three seven zero Z. No spaces. Um, I'll see you guys there. Um, that was pretty quick. So yeah, peace out. I'll see you guys later on. And if you guys got the PSN ID, um, I'll probably see you on there sometime. All right. Hope you guys had a great Black Friday, great Thanksgiving weekend, and uh, see you in the next video.